We're in the Toyota Green when we are live and in color with Brian Kelly. He's founder and CEO of The Points Guy. It's a website that tracks 43 programs to see which ones offer the best value per mile or point. He joins us now with tips on how you, too, you can get the best deal ahead of a busy holiday travel season that's coming up. Good morning to you, Brian. It's going to be here before we know it, Gail. You, you promise? I, it is, yeah. But before we start, I think people should see your shoes. Oh, these, Are these, these old things? I, I'm the, I don't Look, know if you can see them. On is the, there any way we could get a shot? My, of my protective but, wolves. You know, when you travel as much as I do, you need as many protective spirits helping yes, you through the airport. Yes, please explain the look because I notice there's no socks. No socks. It's which summertime, I see, Gail. we got to squeeze out every last bit of this summer. This is what all the cool guys are doing, you know, no yeah. socks. Yeah. Okay, so let's think about this, Brian. Here we are, August. What's the date? I just asked somebody. August 28th. 28th, 2019. Summer's ending. We're 92 days from Thanksgiving, 119 days from Christmas. So when should we be booking our trips? It seems seems like this is so far out to book. It seems that way, but actually, but, so for inter, if you're going anywhere international over Thanksgiving or uh, Christmas, holiday, New Year, you should be booking now because mm -hmm. international flights, usually three months is the sweet spot, and then they just get more and more expensive. Domestic flights, you're looking six to eight weeks, so you got a little bit of breathing room, but you know, as we head into September, you should really start monitoring for deals and you know, the airlines these days, they come out with flash sales. That's what we've been seeing, all the major airlines. So, like yesterday, for example, United had 25,000 miles to go to Hawaii, but for one day only. Whoa. So, you got to be, you know, monitor the situation. This, and when you see one of these deals, you got to strike. You better grab it. Yeah. This is, what, this is what bugs me. I was looking for a flight, you know, just doing an inquiry. On Monday, it was one price. Mm -hmm. Yesterday, it was another price, and it was higher. Yep. You know, you can be searching for a flight, and if someone else is in the same process, it can actually pull the fare bucket and cause your, your price to, to jump up, up, which we've all had that maddening experience. So, you know, there's a lot of conspiracy theories out there, too. Exactly. That the airlines don't actually increase your price, but it's basically, you know, with so many other people, like, that's when the prices go up. I know a lot of people think if I search for a flight, then the airline's out to get me and they're going to raise yeah. the price. It's not quite like that, but it can seem that way. But, so. are, but are you here to say, though, the earlier you book your flight, the better price you'll get? Not necessarily. Domest no. So okay. domestically, airlines, they know they're nervous Nellies out there that want to book nine months in advance, my family reunion, and I'm just going to book in the price because it is stressful to think yes. as the date goes on. But in general, you know, that six to eight week mark is where they'll start to, and then they start to raise the prices for business travelers. They really want to gouge. That's why, like, last-minute travel is always so crazy expensive. Exactly. You never have to do a funeral. Exactly. Because the airlines are out to gouge business travelers. Because corporate travel is going to send someone who needs to go on a flight regardless of price. Or the price. And so, they know that. So that six- to eight-week mark, in general, is the sweet spot. It's the time you should start but, looking. But also, the days in which you travel make a huge difference as well. If you want to travel on a Thursday and come back Sunday... Um, that's good. You no, know, that's expensive because everyone wants to leave Thursday, Friday, come back on a Sunday. So when night. should we go if you're doing a weekend? You know, you I always, I mean, for the actual Thanksgiving, you know, first flight out on Thursday. I know it sounds risky, but um, you know, the the best time to travel in general. I'm not an early bird, but the first flight out of almost any airport almost always goes out on time because mm -hmm. you know there's not those delays. Yeah. So. You know, the day of, you know, holidays, if you fly out early morning, like, the prices can be half as much as flying out the night before. So sometimes you got to put a value. How much do they really need me at you know, <laughs> yeah, dinner the night before? I'll not, buy caviar. Not that much. Yeah. Not that much. But generally speaking, you say book the first flight out. Book the first flight out. Regardless, general, holidays, whatever. Want, okay. Get to the airport first because those first flights, they don't have the air traffic delays, that, you know, especially in cities like New York where, you know, at 7 p.m. at LaGuardia, there's... There's a uh, traffic down that runway. Yeah. But the first flight outs are generally like th those are uh, pretty much any airline internationally the the best chances of getting to where you want to go on time. I also heard Brian that you should buy your tickets on a Tuesday uh, before noon. You know that was the old you know the old way that airlines used to list fares. It, it was you know Tuesdays and then the other airlines would uh, react. So Tuesday Wednesday is w were the right time. Nowadays, airlines have computer models that price it instantly, and, you know, fares will change, you know, even in a, in a single day. So that's not necessarily true. And last month, you, we were talking about how people have miles, and so many of them go unused. Go unused, yeah. I know why, because when you go to claim them, it's a big pain in the you-know-what. It's a big pain in the butt. But that's why, like, the same thing with fares. So uh, the airlines will actually run flash sales using miles as well. So actually, just this week, Delta Vacations just announced until this Saturday, the 30th, I think, uh -huh. um, you get double the value of your miles. So you get two cents per mile when booking packages through Delta Vacations. 
So if you have 100,000 Delta miles, that's $2,000 oh, yeah. in flight and hotel. Yeah. Um, our reader, that was our viral post this week, because a lot of people have Delta miles and don't, you know, usually you're getting one cent per mile. You know, 50,000 miles is going to get you a $500 flight if you're lucky. Yeah. With this Delta Vacations deal, you know, it's a flash deal this week only. You get double the value of your miles. So, you keep talking about these flash sales. How do we, how do we well, find Well, you got to read the points, sale. Guy. I know, oh, you know, oh, okay, okay. We cover, okay. we always cover. But, well, I walked know. right into that. Okay. Well, I know. <laughs> I, I, I try not I'm to like, shamelessly self-promote. No, no. But no, we've got a staff. You know what? I didn't even right. see that coming, but okay. <laughs> no, but no. So we covered on our site. <laughs> but sign up, you know, any loyalty program or airline, follow them. Um, there are other sites like Airfare, Watchdog, Secret Flying. Let's just stick with, stick with the points, guys. I know, I know, but no, there's others out there that do stick, good. We'll just stick with that. Okay, and uh, top destinations, if you're looking for a deal, yep. quick getaway, holiday getaway, where to go? So consistently in the in the U.S., cheap flight-wise, New Orleans is really cheap. Really? It's New Orleans and Portland, Oregon. And in Portland, actually just came in number two in our best airport survey that we just did. Um, so I recommend also taking a road trip, too. Um uh, you can have a lot of fun. Rental cars can be expensive, but always rent off airport. There's also new apps like Turo. I, I, all my employees are obsessed whenever they travel. So Turo is basically car sharing. Uh -huh. So my employees, like for the price of what a sedan would be, I saw one of my employees on Instagram driving a Range Rover Sport. And I was like, who approved this on the expense report? And then he looked and it's so basically people have fancy cars can rent them out to people. You can get Teslas. So, uh, you know, oh, so I'm, you're one of those kind of bosses who approved this I nice know. car for my employee. And then, and then me, like, <laughs> I want that car. Well, I, I'm in the Prius and my like, intern is in a Range Rover. But, um, but then, you, I think a lot of times we think we have to fly everywhere. But especially even in the Northeast, there's so many cool places just, you know, an hour or two outside of New York. I, I like all of your advice and I, I, I like you, too. But there's I just don't understand your advice about don't check your bag. Well, how can people travel well, no, no. I without mean, checking a bag? So I would, it's not like never check your bag. Of course, you know. But you say I, try not to check your bag. Well, if you're bringing tons and tons of stuff or But we want to wear gifts, two clothes, Brian. I know. But I think that, that tip was more so around, like, if you're traveling with a ton of gifts for the holidays, like okay. shipping in advance is right, actually like cheaper than what the airline's going to charge you. You don't have to worry about the bag not showing up. Although airlines have gotten better with the bags. Um, but no, I mean, look. I have a size 14 shoe. When I, I'm going away for two weeks, like, I'm checking a bag when I go, mm -hmm. you know. Um, 14 is a very big shoe, just saying. It is. There's <laughs> and, no, I mean, two, two pairs of shoes in my carry-on. I my just carry -on you have stuff. big feet, that's all. <laughs> and there's nothing worse than waiting in line <laughs> and missing your flight. What's your best but Waiting in line I know we're shoe, going. Yeah. We're, we're going. Um, What's the best? We want to avoid waiting in line. Waiting in line. I hate waiting in line. So you got to get. So if you get global entry, it's $100. Oh, yes. yes, yes, yes. So look, it's a pain in the butt. You got to fill out a form. Yes. Tell the government this where you This is a very good tip. Clear. Have you heard of Clear? Oh, I think that was my next tip, Gail. Oh, okay, because I love Clear. So Clear. So I love it. I let's love start it. with my first tip. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, no. So anyway, Global Entry is <laughs> amazing because for 100 bucks you get it for five years. Yes. That means that anytime you come internationally, you, you skip through. Yep. That also gets you pre-check, which yep. is it's you, excellent. I agree. And then, in addition, Clear. I if, love Clear. If you have it, even if you just have a Delta frequent flyer account, it gets cheaper with the lead status. So uh, Delta and United frequent flyers get a discount. Clear is awesome because it's biometric, so you don't even need to put your ID. Fingers, yep. So at, at LaGuardia, you know, even if you have pre-check, you know, all those business travelers have pre-check yes. now. Pre-check used to be a very short line, but now a lot of people are using. Everyone pre has pre-check, so t so Clear is the new pre-check. So Clear, you put your two fingers. And they actually escort you to the front yes, of the pre-check line. Yes. So if you want to use clear, though, you got to have thick skin because everyone will glare at you as you like. Skip. That's why it's good to have an escort. Yes. Because <laughs> it shows I'm not cutting the line. Yep. I have clear. I'm playing and this by the rules. Yeah, I'm playing by the rules, and this person is taking yes. me. I, that, I think that's the best. But tip clear, of all, and also clear. it's not just airports. So clear also works at Yankee Stadium. Oh. So that long line to go through security. I didn't know that. Clear, you get um, a bunch of new stadiums. I didn't and know that. Venues, points, so. guy. The more you know, Gail. Yes, the more you know. I like you, Brian. Thank I you like for you, coming. Gail. I like your shoes. I like it's a size 14. To learn more of Brian's travel tips and tricks, visit the pointsguy.com. Bye. Say Safe bye, travels. Brian. <laughs> See you in first class. Yes. <laughs>